I'm John Buchanan, and in this video, we're going to learn how to make a groove template from an audio file. Now, any audio file with kind of rhythmic qualities that you bring in, either that you've recorded yourself or brought in from the loop browser, are going to have an inherent rhythm. And we learn through quantize that we can take rhythms and we can sort of make them fit to the tempo of our track. But what if we like the groove? of the audio that we've imported, and we want to use that as a template for all of the other files within our track. Well, that's what Groove Templates are all about, and in this video, we're going to learn how to make one. Okay, so the Groove that I've imported is from uh, the Loop Browser, and it's called this Classic Tambourine Breaks, really nice groove, and we're just going to have a listen to it. And we're going to have a listen to it with the metronome punched in, because what we're going to discover is there, there are some sort of timing discrepancies within this groove, which sort of make it human. Okay, so there it is looping, and what we can see if we zoom in on this file is exactly what I'm talking about, particularly, let's say, at the beginning of bar three, where this uh, bass drum arrives several frames early. The front of it's kind of here, really, and if we have a look at the uh, waveform of that moment compared to the beginning of bar three, we can see that that hit is early, and that's happening all the way through this groove because, of course, it's been played by a real human being. So rather than quantizing this piece of audio, which I can do using uh, flex editing, instead what I want to do is to create what we call a groove template from it. And what that allows me to do is to take all of the individual hits within this loop and then apply them to other audio files. Now then, what we're going to do first of all is to find out why this might be useful. You can see that on the track underneath what I've done is to import a bass uh, groove to go with the drums. And what we're going to discover is that some of these little timing discrepancies aren't the same in the two bits of audio file. For example, right here where I've got this drum hit and it's not syncing up right now with this moment. Let's hear the two sounds side by side. I'll take the metronome out for a moment. Okay, so lots of that works, but there are some moments that really don't. We've just got just not quite the sort of synchronization between these two instruments that we could have. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to come to the classic tambourine break, which I really like a lot. I'm going to switch on flex editing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use slicing mode. And what that's going to do is to detect the individual transient hit points within this groove. You can see all these dotted lines through the transients of this file. Now, what I'm then in a position to do is to do all kinds of things with this audio. For example, I could take this first uh, groove, and if I wanted to, I could just quantize this and make it all conform to 16th notes. I could sort of say, I want this to be absolutely bang in time like a drum machine. But that isn't what I want to do. What I want to do instead is to create a groove template, which you can see right down here at the bottom of the quantize options. And what this is going to do is to go through and work out where all of the transients of this particular groove lie, and it's then going to sort of create a map of those positions, which I can then apply to other audio or MIDI files within my project. So what we've done is to click on Make Groove Template, and if we come back to the Quantize options, what I'll now find towards the bottom of the list is the classic tambourine break. It's taken the name of the file and it's created a groove template from it. So what does that mean for other files within my project? Well, let's come down to the bass for a moment. I'm going to come to this track here. I'm going to again switch on Flex Editing, and I'm again going to select Slicing Mode, which is actually selected by default here, but I'm going to just choose the, the Slicing option here. And what I'm then in a position to do is to come back to my quantize menu and to select the classic tambourine break. Now, immediately what's going to happen is it's going to start moving aspects or elements of this groove around. Now, not every single transient within the classic tambourine break is relevant to the funk electric bass because there are moments where there are individual transients in the drums that don't exist within the bass. But what it's done is to go through and work out where those hits occur, and it's then moved those points so we can see that they're now perfectly synchronized underneath the drum break. Let's hear these two parts together now. So 
So now the timing between these two parts is really nicely synced together. And it's not just audio files that benefit from this too. What I'm going to do now is to just add some electric piano. Now, of course, I'm going to be playing this in. So of course, my timing isn't going to be perfect. And we're going to see that I'm going to be able to use that same groove template for MIDI regions as well. Okay, so there's four bars of electric piano. If we just play that back with my timing. Well, that could definitely be tighter. So what I'm gonna do is just to select this region, again, just drop down to my classic tambourine break and those MIDI file notes are going to move and hopefully they'll now be in sync with the other two parts of the track. Now, it's really worth saying that, of course, this um, particular groove really benefits from the fact that we've got a source file which is busy. In other words, there's something happening in more or less every 16th note of the file. This classic tambourine break has got a lot of points that have created those sort of transients which have then been mapped to create this groove template for us. And if you're creating groove templates like this, it's really worth bearing in mind that of course, the more points there are in the original source file, the easier it's going to be for that quantize map to be applied or applicable to the other tracks that you add. Because of course, there are more points to sync those individual transients, in the case of audio files, or MIDI notes, in the case of MIDI regions, from that groove template. So what we've seen within this video is that we can take a file like this classic tambourine break, create a groove template from it, and then apply that to other audio and MIDI regions within our track.